on the issue of what is a Department of Justice investigation, as I understand it. You know, the president is a strong defender of the First Amendment and a firm believer in the need for the press to be unfettered in its ability to conduct investigative reporting and facilitate a free flow of information. President, find out about the Department of Justice's subpoenas for the Associated Press. So I can't comment on the specifics of that, but I can tell you that the president feels strongly that we need uh, a uh, the press to be able to be unfettered in its pursuit of investigative journalism. This involved multiple months, multiple locations, many phones. Is the president at all concerned that about the breadth of the investigation, about the breadth and depth that the DOJ is using to pursue leaks in general, which has become a priority for this president? He's prosecuted in this administration more people for leaks than every other president put together. Jessica, what I can tell you is that this president believes uh, strongly uh, in the First Amendment and is a strong defender of the First Amendment. He believes strongly in the need for the press to be unfettered. Are you concerned at all about the precedent this is setting and that this is the legacy of his attorney general? This, I think, refers to this investigation, so I cannot comment on that. What I can tell you is the president absolutely uh, believes in the need for a uh, the press to be able to pursue uh, unfettered investigative journalism. From the Justice Department investigation, as a principle, does the president approve of the idea of prosecutors going through the personal phone records and work phone records of journalists and their editors? Uh, I, I, I appreciate the effort to generalize the question, but obviously that goes right to the heart of some of the reporting on this specific case. I can tell you that the president believes uh, that the press, as a rule, uh, needs to be, uh, to have uh, an unfettered ability to pursue investigative training. your phone records. Well, again, I can't, I can't, uh, between the need to protect those, that information because of the national security implications of not protecting them on the one hand and the need to allow uh, for uh, an unfettered press and it's uh, in its pursuit of investigative journalism. No, it happened just as the IRS uh, admitted what it had done in terms of the, the Tea Party and other groups. Uh, the AP knows its records were, phone records were subpoenaed because the Justice Department told the AP. The President, but I find any way that that might fit in the balance that you say needs Again, to be it would wrong. be inappropriate and harm our national security. And do you On the that? one hand, and the President's firm commitment to uh, the need for reporters to be able to, in an unfettered way, pursue investigative journals. Obama is being compared to President Nixon. Uh, it is also, in the President's view, uh, essential to allow journalists to be able to uh, pursue in an unfettered way investigative journalism. The Democrats were in charge. You had Chuck. Sch I mean, this is 2009. This, I, I, who cares about 2007? We know what he said on the campaign trail right. in 2008 in front of the Associated Press when it came to this issue. He had a chance to support this and make this bill happen. The President's Why did he change his change. position? Yes, no, it has. It hasn't he, it, the administration said that they essentially the president changed his position because of certain things on national security. Can you explain well, why he the, changed his position? Again, broadly speaking, the president does support the ability of journalists in an unfettered way to pursue investigative journalism. You as an administration, any administration claims everything is somehow national security leak can fall under this rubric of that, but having a third party make that decision about is it truly going to endanger lives? Is it truly going to do this? And you make your make your case in front of a third party. Does the president support that kind of well, I, that I don't kind have, of protection for media sources? I, I don't have an answer to that specific scenario that you laid out. I can tell you that the president does support it supported in two thousand eight. Well then he does support protections for the media. He does believe that we need to take measures to ensure that the media can pursue investigative journalism uh, in an unfettered way. Jay, yeah. Jay you, you've uh, used this uh, formulation about the president's support for unfettered investigative reporting a number of times here. Um, to what extent is he is the former constitutional law professor in the Oval Office uh, torn between that philosophy and the case for, uh, you know, going after leaks. I think the appropriate way to describe it is that the president believes there needs to be a balance uh, because uh, there is uh, an interest in making sure that classified information that is sensitive is not leaked 
and because of the consequences to national security and to individuals. Uh, but there is also an interest in the president's view in ensuring that the press can pursue investigative journalism uh, and be unfettered in that pursuit. Has to know that uh, a reporter can't uh, be unfettered if uh, if a reporter is, is subjected to a fishing expedition, personal phone records and, and office phone records. Uh, but I'm just not going to get into any more details about it because it would be inappropriate to do so. All right. I want to follow up on a question <clears throat> Jessica asked that has nothing to do with a specific investigation. This administration in the last four years has prosecuted twice as many leakers as every previous administration combined. How does that reflect balance? I would say that the president is committed to uh, the press's ability to pursue information, uh, to uh, <clears throat> defending the First Amendment. He is also, as a citizen and as commander-in-chief, uh, committed to the proposition that we cannot uh, allow you know, classified information to be, uh, that can do harm to our national security interests or to endanger individuals to be to be leaked, and that is a balance that has to be struck. But the record of the last four years does not suggest balance. That's your opinion, no, Ari, but I... It's twice as many prosecutions as all previous administrations combined. That's well, not I, even close. I understand that there, you know, that there are ongoing investigations that preceded this administration, but I, I again, I'm not going to... I can tell you what the President's views are, and the President's views include his defense of the First Amendment, his belief that journalists ought to be able to uh, pursue information uh, in an unfettered way. Thanks very much.